learn musical learning is is very intangible we use a lot of tangibles to teach music we, we use music theory there are tangible keys you play there are tangible strings that you need to hold and make notes and stuff like that but the journey itself is intangible if we say that a uh, level 1 in our in our foundation course is going to take 6 months that's a statistical average it is not something like you know the term starts on june 1st by the end of uh, september we have finished the first term and we have taught all of this now it's up to you guys to go home learn and come for exam that's not how music works so for some 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 children finish their entire 6 months curriculum in one and a half months they're that fast some children take up to 2 3 years like chandrika was said they they join us when they are 8 9 some of them are there with us till they are 13 14 15 uh because it's a it's a journey there's the, the, the and the milestones are very unique it's very very unique to each child because we're talking about music here parents don't get that there are two children who come uh from they are they are going for maths tuition together my son is doing great in maths but here his friend has gone ahead of him how is that possible in guitar now how do you explain to this uh, how do you explain this how do you decipher this for 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 people who are educated working professionals who understand the world who are wise in all ways but can't understand this so these are the difficulties i'll never say we have difficult students never students are students they are they are that way i mean that's it's it's the you know they they children they are still they are still evolving they are still growing if we can't have too many expectations from them apart from you know uh, uh, We'd like you to go home and practice. If you don't practice, it's it's fine. We've all done that. You know, it's it's all right. But the problem is not really with with, with the students. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I perfectly. In fact, that was my next question because invariably, when they are in the ninth standard, most children stop uh, music or any arts or any any class where they really enjoy going because yeah. it's the board years next and it's highly competitive and uh, they are stressed. So. many a time i tell parents that i love them to go maybe the art portion would be where they de-stress and come back and learn a lot better Absolutely. rather than sit and miss the class because Absolutely. whole time in the books is boring but uh, because i have a friend who teaches dance and she says there are children who come and say auntie can we sleep yesterday we had tennis our legs are paining we can't dance today so can we sleep because she why don't you go home why did you come to class no if i sleep at home mama won't like it so i come to class for her but i can't dance today so at at such moments it's sad it's sad for the child because many a time like you said i think it's the parental aspiration and not the child yes. so as parents also and you've seen children very closely more than the parents in fact i feel teachers know kids a lot more sometimes and the parents, than parents because Absolutely. they are very vulnerable in classes to share their most beautiful moments so what is it that you'd like to tell parents vis-a-vis a journey in life with music or arts and if the child is not inclined let the child be it's okay if the child doesn't like music and doesn't want to be part of any musical journey so what would you want to tell parents who are confused whether they are doing the right thing not pushing the child or they are doing the right thing pushing the child uh, i i'll just give you example of my two kids uh, so my older one is a very good learner he goes he is he is like a student which all teachers like he will be regular he will do homework that's given and he will always be prepared for the class now and he loves to learn so a teacher whatever new material they will learn now my daughter she is the opposite the moment you put her in a structured class she wants to rebel because she wants to do her own thing so she will make life miserable for the teacher by uh, telling this is what i have learned this is what i tried you want to listen to what i did so she'll always want to do something beyond the class and the teacher can never hold the curriculum with her and after a point the teacher says if she doesn't want to be in a structured class i think it's okay you let her be unstructured and learn on her own it's talking about music yeah yeah i'm talking only about music yeah yeah sure. so these both are born in the same environment they are getting the same exposure but they are different now each child is different so if we are pushing them to learn something somewhere a gentle push is good for example 
pushing them to practice or reminding them to practice those are good things to do but pushing them to uh, use music as a as a goal to probably write an exam uh, a music exam or telling them that i need to see progress in music you know you started it's been 6 months you're still i can't see you play a song now playing a song is very complex now there are many things about music i learned once we started the academy now i have been a student of music i understand music that doesn't mean i know anything about music when we when we started the academy there are so many nuances to learning and comparison with academic is absolutely wrong it's apples and oranges actually totally because it's this is a skill and this is so much expression of self Uh, whereas academics uh, if the child doesn't learn we are sending them to tuitions then we are sending them for more tuitions and then we are uh, it's like repetition but but in in music even if we tell a child okay every day you just do only this the expression has to be there the music has to sound good it's not just about copying what uh, how it is supposed to be play, uh, played so it's important to observe i think it's so important to observe your child and see how they are responding sometimes it take time as long as they are interested in learning let them learn if they have lost the interest you are pushing them continuously that means they don't have the interest so there's no need to push them in both ways yeah sometimes children are very very interested yeah and uh, at the wrong time yeah. i'm saying they're pulled out they're yeah. pulled out at the wrong time especially when board exams come i have had cases in which parents and they, they say we want to sell the keyboard yeah. because the child is playing it too much too much well if i were the parents say okay he's playing the keyboard that much that means he's obviously inclined towards that and that's probably that's what he wants to do so why are you taking it away from him if you're taking it away from the child you're only creating resentment towards you you're, you're triggering a, a negative emotion in the child at the wrong time so uh, uh, one thing which would certainly i i i would say is that know your child know your child and remember that you know uh, anything you do or don't do when it i'll just limit myself to music anything you do or don't do which is which is out of alignment with what your what your child is all about is only going to cause the child stress and it's going to uh, uh have repercussions if not today tomorrow in the child's uh, uh, i would say uh, own self worth yeah. in 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 the relationship that you enjoy with your child everything is going to be impacted so think about it don't just don't be blind about it saying that okay it's 10 standard exams 12 standard exams no music no nothing cut everything off sit and study you're taking away something that a child enjoys but you need to be sure that the child is enjoying But that's that's important, and the other and and vice versa as well. Don't don't push your child just because you want the child to learn. Just figure out whether the child wants to learn or not. 